Hi, I'm David. I'm from Canada, the land of the beaver. But now I live in China, the land of the panda. I love this little guy. The Pearl River is known as the Mother River of Guangzhou, and on its southern bank stands one of China's most famous universities, Sun Yat-sen University. This university was established by Sun Zhongshan himself, and its school motto was written by him personally. Um, now, I've studied Chinese for many years, and I don't really understand this. Thank you. Although it is said that this motto was written by Sun Zhongshan himself a hundred years ago, he actually picked these characters from ancient Confucian scripts. Li Zi. This book was written 2,000 years ago, and the five words that Sun Zhongshan chose are all derived from ancient Chinese philosophies and principles, and are now known as life's little mottos. Sun Zhongshan gave new meaning to these characters. For example, study extensively. Okay, I got it. Okay, thank you. Sun Zhongshan also put an emphasis on the Zhong and the Wai, representing China and the West. He traveled to many countries and always stressed the importance of learning from the outside world. Another example, practice earnestly. In old maxim, it means being impartial. So in a way it means a wise man takes care of his own hide and sits on the fence when disputes arise. Now these wise words from Sun Zhongshan have almost become common sense here and are meant to teach students to combine book smarts with street smarts. When Sun Zhongshan University was established in 1924, it was a result of a number of schools coming together. When Sun Zhongshan passed away in 1926, the university was renamed the National Sun Yat-sen University. Time really does fly by, and in 2014, the university celebrated its 90th anniversary, and a set of new anniversary mascots was chosen. Just like this cute little lion here. They've been nicknamed the Zhongda Lions. Have you noticed anything special about these five lions? Why are there five, not four or even six? There's one main mascot, one is studying, one is resting, one is playing, and the last one is wearing a scholar's cap. Together, they represent what it means to be a student. And at the same time, they embody the five words of the school motto. Study extensively, inquire accurately, reflect carefully, discriminate clearly, and practice earnestly. Now, this lion studied a lot and graduated, so he's called study extensively. And this one, well, he's looking over his shoulder, so he's called inquire accurately. And this one here, He's just sitting there and thinking about something, so he's called Reflect Carefully. This one, reciting from a book, is called Discriminate Clearly. Now this last line, I'm not really too sure. I don't understand how a big lion trampling a little lion could be called Practice Earnestly. But what I do know is that these five lines all come from this big one. These five lions are both realistic and at the same time abstract. Ninety years later, the young people of today are using these lions to try to dissect and understand Sun Zhongshan's ideology, to deconstruct the culture that has already become so deeply implanted in the minds of students. I'm David, see you next time.